Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn and today I'm going to be telling you how I avoided split ends in my hair for an entire year and a couple months. Um, if you want more content like this, like this video and subscribe to my channel because my hair would be real healthy and I want to share with you all the tips that I have for keeping your hair healthy as well. This is all my hair. It's obviously messy. Jackson, cut it. Diagonal up, yeah. I like it! I like it! No, the longest one I'm getting here is 21. It's 21? Yeah. 23. Oh my god, so we'll just say average is 21. 21. My ends look very healthy. My hair treatment always start in the shower. I wash my hair two to three times a week. And my first tip is to use a silicone-free shampoo. I use Garnier's Whole Blends Silicone-Free Paraben-Free Shampoo. Silicone is a man-made product, so it's basically like a plastic coat on your hair and it actually doesn't allow other nutrients to get into your hair and it takes away from it being able to absorb any sort of moisture. My second tip is to never, ever, ever rub your hair together. I learned it from this hair guru on YouTube. I don't remember his name, but he's literally a life changer. I used to rub my hair all the time and I used to get split ends. I think this is one of the most important things. The rubbing your hair actually damages the shaft. Tip number three is to towel dry your hair and then air dry. I try to avoid heat as much as possible. Part of me is because it's, I'm lazy. I know that when I put heat on my hair, either to straighten it, curl it, literally can feel my hair breaking down. So I'm gonna show you how I treat my hair after I shower. Um, I use a product called Bite of Hair and I'm almost at the end of a bottle so they were kind enough to send me a new box. You get a brush, the actual bottle, and a pump. So this is super travel friendly and then you can use this for easy use. And comb is used to evenly put the product in your hair. All you have to do is, with your wet hair, use two pumps and massage it in your hair. In the instructions it says go from the bottom to your roots and I feel like that's because they don't want you to have any oily hair. But if you stick to the two pump, two to three pump recommendation and you spread out the product evenly, you should not have any oily hair. So I sometimes use a third pump if I feel like there's not enough product, which I'm doing now. My fingers through my hair and if that doesn't work you can just use the comb my sister has bleached hair and running a brush through her hair right after a shower is really hard for her and she said with this product it's been a lot easier I love provide of hair because it makes your hair super super soft after the reason why I'm not using a comb is because I'm a little bit lazy, so I don't really do that part. It also just helps to evenly distribute the product, but I find that my fingers do a good job as well. Vitav Hair is the first hair vitamin I've ever used. Uh, I love that it doesn't make my hair oily. It always feels really great. Vitav Hair is cruelty-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free, and is made of all natural ingredients full of vitamins and omega fatty acids so it really moisturizes nourishes and makes your hair way more resilient to our everyday actions i'll just read you guys what's on the website it says vitam fills hair's gaps with damage transforming moisture it seals the outer cuticle back together and locks it down restoring the hair structure protecting it against new damage and bringing out rich flowing texture and glossy hair. Another thing that will help with preventing split ends is giving your hair a nice little chop. I went and got my hair cut. At first I hated it, but now I kind of like it. And now it'll just regrow. 
that's the easiest way to prevent your hair from splitting. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what hair products you enjoy using. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.